Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Footies just keeps going, and with another leaked Ultimate Footies SBC, I want to take a look at the Mohamed Salah card that we might see today on the game, and also why we might even see a loading screen today for that preseason promo that we talked about yesterday. Not just because that's the way that it happened last year, but we have some new transferred cards that are added into the game. Some of the cards are even in packs right now, and that would also be another sign pointing towards some sort of pre-season promo. So I want to talk about all of that today, and also the very interesting movements that Fodder had yesterday after EA Sports dropped a tradable pack supply SBC because of, where is it at? Right here, the winning strategy SBC gave out a pretty solid pack, a small rare gold players pack with all the special cards that are in packs right now. Of course, it's giving out a swap token as well. That actually made fodder go really, really low as we're coming into tonight's video. I think it's a great opportunity to buy some of that and probably watch it rise again today. But also with the 95 plus shapeshifter player pick that dropped yesterday, a lot of shapeshifters have dropped. A lot of those like 95, 96 rated shapeshifters that people are packing from this went down in price because of the pack weight being so nice on these player picks and a lot of people going out and craft them. So there's a lot to talk about in terms of the market, but seriously, a lot to look at in terms of what could be happening today as well for a potential loading screen. That's one of the big things I'm going to be watching for around the content drop today. So happy Wednesday, by the way. If you're enjoying the videos on the channel, hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Let's start by taking a look at this leak because like we've seen on previous Wednesdays, it has been a very common day. Ferland Mendy, Antoine Griezmann, we're released on Wednesdays. I think we have another Ultimate Footies SBC coming for us today on Wednesday. This SBC was leaked yesterday on Tuesday. Mohamed Salah is added to come via Footies SBC in the following days. Stats are a prediction. That's massive, right? Another, I mean, this is on the level of Neymar, if you really think about it. Uh, in terms of a big-time player getting an SBC, Mohamed Salah is our next Footies SBC player that is going to be dropping on the game. It's probably going to be an ultimate footies, just like the last few really big name players have been. Now, what do we need for the Muhammad Salah? Well, this Salah, I believe, is one of the first ones to ever get a four-star weak foot. And a plus one, like a 98 Salah versus 97 team of the season, almost seems like, do we really need this EA Sports? But I think this card would still be incredibly cracked. Five star, five star is what we really, really hope for this card. And, you know, 99 pace, he's already one away. 99 dribble, he's already one away. I almost feel like this SBC, for if it's too expensive today, might be one that people are okay skipping because it just might not seem worth it when this card, you know, you can only have one better pace, one better shooting. Sorry, two better shooting, one better dribbling. You know, this Salah card really could look incredible. And if he does get five star, five star, it really could be worth doing. But if it's, you know, 1.5 million coins or 1.7 mil like Neymar was first day, then it might not be worth it. So we'll just have to see where the SBC here is priced for Salah. But it's a huge Premier League player, biggest and most popular right wing in the Prem, I would argue. Um, and of course, it's all about that five star, five star for a guy like this Salah. So that's the leaked SBC. That is the one leak that we have right now. I think personally, this is dropping today. It could, of course, drop on Thursday, but Wednesdays have just been the day for those premium or those ultimate footies SBCs. And since it would potentially be an ultimate footies SBC, just like with Neymar, Griezmann, Ferland Mendy, we're kind of watching out for some of those requirements like the foot birthdays, the foot fantasies, the foot captains. And I even kept a couple foot captains and foot birthday cards in my club thinking that this sort of requirement type thing inside the SBC for Salah would actually happen today. So maybe if you're opening player picks or if you're crafting through the club to try to get Neymar done, maybe just be a bit careful with some of those cards like foot birthdays on the market right now are very expensive. Foot fantasies are up. I think foot captains are up as well. And if a Salah drops today, it's going to be even more demand pushed out for those cards. And, you know, it's going to be even harder to get them and their prices might go up a little bit. I could see that happening. So that's one little word of warning that might help you out a little bit if you're interested in a Mohamed Salah SBC. Again, just to kind of think about it for a half a second, I mean, that's, I mean, kind of a crazy SBC to get. Like, we have the Tat Salah, who's already 4-4, and, you know, this four-star weak foot on Salah is big, right? Makes his card so much more usable than his base item and some of his other specials, but having five-star, five-star on this card, he'd be really, really good. So I'm interested to see what the Salah looks like. Again, I only imagine a plus one, but 
if EA do some good work with the other uh, individual stat boost, then it could be a really, really insane Salah SBC for some of those Prem teams out there in the game. So absolutely be watching out for that. That's the biggest piece of content that I'm curious about and looking forward to today. Now, it's also a Wednesday, right? And what have we known in the past couple of weeks about Wednesdays? Wednesdays have brought the voting, right? The voting SBCs have been dropped on Wednesdays in the past few weeks. But with what we think is the end of footies happening, there probably will not be a vote today on Wednesday because you know, we're not expecting a new footies player or set of players to be dropped on Friday with the promo kind of coming to an end. So that just leaves us also with another question mark for today's content. What could be dropped for today? You know, kind of along the same schedule as last week, I would maybe expect the shapeshifter hero slash captain player pick to be refreshed again. That's something they've been refreshing the past couple of weeks. That could be an SBC that we see today. Um, and then really the biggest thing that I'm watching out for today, guys, is a loading screen because we looked at it on stream yesterday last year on this date at the end of footies with two days to go they dropped a preseason loading screen i'm pretty sure all it said was preseason starts in two days so watch out for a loading screen today whatever promo is going to be next whether it's preseason whether it's something different there could be a loading screen today because ea would probably want to you know allow us to have a little bit of um you know an, an update or at least some knowledge or a little bit of a tip that that promo is going to be starting soon and that would help out a little bit as well but watch out for that loading screen today that's actually one of the biggest pieces of content because it would kind of confirm what's coming next as footies starts to slow down so absolutely watch out for that loading screen today now also as i mentioned at the top of the video there are some new transferred cards that have been added into the game and they are in packs let me show you raheem sterling and this is actually a um, something that points towards potentially that preseason promo coming pretty soon. You can see that we have ourselves an 88 rated Chelsea Raheem Sterling on the market right now. Now, I was also I wanted to look for an MLS Gareth Bale. Now, this is a bit of an odd one, but I saw there was like an LAFC Chiellini. I want to see if there's an LAFC Bale. It's in the game right now. OK, not quite yet. I don't believe that Erling Holland is on the market as well as a Manchester City player. Okay, that he is not. But I do believe if you go into concepts, you can search a lot of these transferred cards up. And it seems like EA has added them into packs. Some of them maybe just don't have a very high pack weight, or like I don't Holland's Tots card might be in packs right now. So like Sterling, his gold card is in packs. So maybe that's why uh his gold card's getting supplied. But you can see here 88 rated Erling Holland Manchester City. So that's huge, right? Because that's something that we were potentially looking forward to inside of this. Um, you know, next promo of preseason. Let me check Gareth Bale in here in concepts. Gareth Bale, LAFC. There it is. A right mid Gareth Bale, LAFC. That's nice. So potential, of course, for some of these guys that have transferred to get SBCs. You know, what about like Perisic? You know, this is just a Spurs fan inside me wanting to look a club for Ivan Perisic. Concept players on. We do have a Spurs Parasitch. There we go. So, you know, watch out for some of these transfers. Maybe go through, look up some of the guys from your club that you're excited about. You know, uh, like Gabriel Jesus. I'm, I'm sure that we've got an Arsenal Gabriel Jesus. We do. There he is. Uh, like even Basuma. I'm searching for like a, uh, from a Spurs standpoint. We do have a Spurs Basuma. So, you know, there's going to be Nunez. This is a big one, right? A lot of people would be curious about a Darwin Nunez. Darwin Nunez, what is he, like 70-something rated? 76. Does he have a Liverpool card? He does. Bang. There it is. So, not all these guys are in packs because some of them have specials in packs. Let's see if this Nunez is in packs. I doubt he is. Uh, it's going to be difficult to see. But um, just kind of watch out for that because that could be another sign that points towards a preseason promo coming soon if they're going to release some of those players via SBCs or objectives and kind of push out the hype uh, of the transfers and stuff like that that often happens during the preseason promo. So that's pretty exciting and good to see. Now, I would be also looking on this specific link on Footbin, and I don't believe that it's been updated just yet, but if you go on Footbin, you go players, new FIFA 22 players. When Footbin learns of all these cards that have been added in with their different clubs, going in here will give you a nice list in order of all these cards, but as you can see, uh, actually, you know what? This has been updated. 817. I just saw the date. You've got Matt Turner in there. Uh, let's see. Uh, some gold players. We have got Josh King. Yup, at Fenerbahce. 
Okay, I'm, I'm trying to just look for gold players that we might know about here, some bigger names. But it looks like, yeah, uh, Julian Alvarez, bang. There's the card for Julian Alvarez, GG's. Uh, who else in here? Maybe some other ones. Nani in Melbourne Victory. Wow, I did not know that Nani was playing in Australia. GG. So I guess this link is working. I'm flipping with all these up, uh, upgraded players and their new clubs. So it will show those cards on Footbin for those brand new items. So that's very, very interesting um, that you can go out and search through some of those and see all the transfer cards that they did update. So that's nice and, again, points towards the preseason promo a little bit in my opinion. Now, speaking of today's, uh, speaking of yesterday's content, let's talk about fodder a little bit. In yesterday's video, we were like, yeah, fodder today could actually be going up, which it did go up even further. A lot of your 84s had a very, very nice peak in price around the content drop because of the great SBC content that was dropped that a lot of people went and did. 9K for Wynaldum, but then it has died. Wynaldum's usually 7, 7,500 coins, and now he is 4K. That's very low for Wynaldum specifically, but for a lot of these 84s, back down to 4,000 coins, and it's all because of one SBC. It's that tradable pack supply, and it was a pretty good SBC that did it. Heading into today on a Wednesday, Kind of uh, unexpected for sure, but this winning strategy gave out a small rare gold players pack that is dropping the fodder a lot on this market because of the supply that it's bringing in. So I think today, or, you know, even right now as you're watching this video, if you're seeing 84s at 4,000 coins, 85s or 5k, it's crazy. 83s even at 2,000 coins. I think the eight, actually the 85s, 86s at 7k look tremendously good for a club stock. I cannot lie. Like this. Some of this fodder is dirt, dirt cheap once again. I like it for the club stock today. Whatever rating you feel like is most potential to go up today. Uh, 85 times 10 being re-released twice. I like the 84s for that. But also some of the other SBCs that still require a lot of higher ratings. People might be going out and crafting some of those today. So I think across the board, SBC fodder is going to have a nice fluctuation. I think it'd be a really, really good time to go out and buy that stuff once again. Because again, like I said... There's still so many great SBCs that are going to be out. If Salah drops today as well, and it's a decent price, some of that higher tier fodder could even push up a little bit further uh, with some of the hype of that. But even without that Salah, like I said, 85 times 10, which you can do twice, the 85 times 5, the 86 plus player pick, all the other SBCs that are out right now that people are doing, it requires fodder. So another fodder club stock is a very, very smart thing to do. And with the 95 plus shapeshifter player pick yesterday, dropping on the game, you actually saw a lot of 95 rated shapeshifters go down in price. And I want to take a look at a few of these prices because some of them have dropped off loads. And I'm talking about your middle to lower tier shapeshifter cards that were the most common cards packed from that pack. You had a combination of tradable pack supply yesterday with that token pack. And again, don't disregard a little small rare gold players pack. That's actually a pack that's going to bring a lot of supply to the market. I mean, look at all these fresh Marcellos that you see here, like the basic ones, right? A lot of these are fresh cards that have just been packed. And I mean, the, the pack look right now in this game is so very good. And you combine that with a pretty solid pack for like 7,000 coins, like a lot of people are going to go out and try to get that pack done. You can see Sonaldo's prices down and a lot of these cards have not even bounced back, right? Ramos is up like 10K. From, he was like 125,000 coins. Looks like he's around 140 right now, so kind of a bounce back a little bit on some of these cards. But, you know, it, it's it's just a lot of people went out and did that 95 plus shapeshifter player pick. They were packing these cards and they were getting uh, packed tradable at the same time here and there from that pack supply SBC that that really pushed a lot of these down in the market yesterday. I mean, you take a look at some of these price drops just again to show you. Some of the graphical changes on these cards. Kyle Walker is 300,000 coins. Yesterday, he was 340, right? You see this boom. Pretty big drop off. Pretty sizable drop off there. Same thing with Marcelo. He was like 480,000 coins. You see him here go from 487, boom, down to 420. He is still right there. Uh, Ramos had actually one of the biggest percentage point drop offs, I believe, out of all the cards. He went from 190k all the way to 125. Pretty big drop off there for him. That just for me means that he was packed more often than others in that 95 plus shapeshifter only player pick. Um, and then of course at the same time you have people that are doing other SBCs. It's draining their coins, draining their fodder as they're going out and getting those SBCs done. Um, and you know that that was kind of the story of the market yesterday. A lot of your shapeshifters dropped in price. A lot of your high rated fodder dropped in price as well. Take a look at the Neymar SBC price 1.3 mil 
Take a look at the Varan 811K. How much is the R9 SBC? This is actually really interesting to note. 2.4 million coins. Look how much that value has dropped off in the last 24 hours. Again, that all is chalked up to that tradable pack supply being released yesterday. You're like, Nate, there's no way. There is. that. Like That is the reason, right? Because so many people were packing cards. And the reason why that pack uh, supply SBC was done by so many people is because... Uh, this is giving out a Summer Swaps 2 token and even more pack supply on top of that. Right now, it is being very, very publicized and it is very, very popular that the 7.5k pack method is profitable. If you open 7.5k packs here in the store, people are just going in here. They're spamming these packs and you're going to have some people hit some crazy pulls from time to time just because of how many special cards are in packs. And I think that's another reason why SBC fodder is dropping right now too. Center forward to striker. Does this sell for anything? Uh, maybe like 2K. So right, like right there, just made 2K. How much does the shadow sell for? Three to 4,000 coins. Like I literally just made my money back on this pack in terms of value. I can sell this rare for like 1.4, 1.5K, somewhere around there. Some of these non-rares will might sell for something or other too because of the SBC from yesterday. Like this Orsolini might sell for like 1,000 coins, right? I'll just do like one point. I'll do 900 coins, probably under listing that, but... That's the sort of thing right now in this game. I don't know what shadows go for. I'm going to list like 4K, see if that goes. And then I'm going to list this at like 3K. And I, I, I almost, I'm, I'm making fodder. Or I'm making pro profit off of this fodder, man. It's crazy that that's the case. Does this sell for anything? Um, looks like it sells for something. Sure, 700 coins, list it up. I'm like, boom. I literally, another 933 coins from quick selling those. And I might've just made profit off that pack. That's what people are doing right now in this game. It is profitable, but when more and more people start to do it, it supplies the market more and more, and you're going to see the fodder cards go down because they're going to get to pack the most from this. No shot. Two packs in a row with shadows. Are you kidding me? <laughs> a French center back? This price sells for something too. 5K? 3K? All right, I'll list this stuff for like 2.7. Like I'm, I'm doing this the very lazy method way, and I'm still making profit off of some of this, right? 950 coins, so... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. not not that. Let's list you up for like 750. I'll list the shadow up again for like four something thousand. Boom, 4.4K, 4K flat. I'll even give somebody a deal maybe. Artist, Hawk. People are putting Hawk on uh, a couple of the new cards. So, you know, 1.4K. Probably underlisting a few of these things, but this is, this is what people are doing right now in this game. And it's profitable. And I think that's another part of the reason why you're seeing stuff get supplied so much is because people are hammering these tradable packs because you can actually profit from selling the cards that you pack in these. Am I selling the shadows? The Hawk for 1400 and the Lang for 700. So the shadows have not sold yet, but that's also a part of why you're seeing the supply get ramped up so much on the game right now is because so many people are going for those cards so that's kind of what's going on with the game right now again today on wednesday what i would really watch out for is the loading screen i'd watch out for the salah sbc and other than that maybe like the hero shapeshifters slash captains pack but other than that i wouldn't expect i'm not expecting a super crazy day today on wednesday but we should maybe get some more info on what kind of promo is coming next also yesterday just a little bit of fifa 23 news ea themselves released some of the new foot heroes Javier Mascherano, Octoboss, is one of the new foot heroes that's going to be coming out. Uh, Rafa Marquez is another one of those heroes. We knew about him, right? Lucio, Defender, the Thunder Lucio is another one. And then Sunstrike, Diego Forlan. I believe those were all the ones that we had tweeted out yesterday by EA Sports. They're not on the official website yet if you go on EA's website, but those are confirmed heroes. And then we did have a Foot Sheriff tweet with all of the heroes added in. So if you get, have you guys not seen this, Volaire, Smolarek, um, yeah, Papin, Landon Donovan makes a return for United States, Ledley King, Peter Crouch is another big one, Dirk Kite, like there's some pretty nice names that are inside this list. So, I mean, probably more tweets coming from EA Sports because I believe that most, if not all these cards are going to be related to the whole Marvel uh, collab that they're doing with FIFA and Marvel. So. That's pretty interesting. Something to watch out for. More tweets from EA. Also, a little bit of a reminder. Make sure to pre-order your FIFA 23. If you're going for the Ultimate Edition, you have until the 21st or 22nd, I believe. 21st, so Sunday. Uh, make sure you get that pre-order in. I tweeted about it yesterday, but just a good reminder to get that done 
if you have not yet. But that's going to be the video for today. I'm excited for Salah because that's a huge right wing card in the Prem that a lot of people would want to craft, especially if he gets five star, five star. And then I'm really hoping for a loading screen today because that would give us some clarity on what's coming next in FIBA 22. So if you enjoyed today's video, hit a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you do have any questions and subscribe if you are new. It has been Nathan for the count and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.